I'm Steph and I'm just getting back into the coaching world. So uh, popping on here as the, the influencers say to share some information. Um, people purchase things if they like you know you trust you and the second best way if you aren't in person is to get live on video. So um, I'm actually going live on two platforms. If you see me doing this, I'm looking back to my Instagram videos behind the Facebook one. Um, I admittedly just did a launch. Really, my sales page sucked. My content or copy was not clear. And the reason why I was able to do it is because I had a full list of people that already liked me, knew me and trusted me. So they bought up the seats that I had to offer and the price point was really good. So moving forward into phase two, um, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more clear, a little bit more concise, um, tighten up my sales page and tighten up the content and actually communicate properly what I'm offering. Um, so yeah, I lucked out. I sold 24 out of the 25 seats that I was aiming to sell simply because people already knew me, liked me, trusted me, and the price point was $25 a month. Um, and why I did it that way um, is I just knew I needed to step into action to get the momentum going. It's been lingering for the last couple of years that I need to start getting back into coaching. Um, and I just had the hit to do it. So I went for it, even though my sales page wasn't great, even though um, maybe I misnamed it membership. It's not really a membership. I don't really have a membership portal. Um, maybe in the future, perhaps I should have called it a subscription. Um, long story short is I'm starting to now have the conversations with people that maybe don't know me. They've never worked me, with me before. Like the yoga teacher, I went to a yoga class and she and I have been talking about her perhaps joining my membership and it doesn't have a membership portal. So maybe I've I've misnamed it. Uh, my intention the day that I was going to launch was to create that membership portal and then tech stuff, blah, blah, blah. And instead of just freezing and deciding not to do it at all, I switched gears. I used the Shopify platform that I was used to and um, just put it out there and sold the 24 seats that way. And nobody questioned it because they already knew me. Um, and it's been great. I've been loving working with clients. Uh, I'm able to do it that cheap because I spent a lot of time in the past making up ebooks and content and videos and worksheets and programs that are all pretty self-run. So all that I'm doing for the $25 a month is I'm keeping you accountable and my commitment is I will respond to you within 48 hours. Um, in the past, I used to do 10 day meditations. So I made everything turnkey that you guys actually didn't need me because I wanted to go away and meditate for 10 days. Um, now my life is a bit different and I'm super happy to be at my computer at least every two days. Um, this Saturday I was responding to client emails bright and early at 6.30 in the morning and I was stoked. So that's how I run my life is I step into action, inspired action when I feel something um, that I'm pulled to and I test, test the waters. So far so good, it feels good. I've been helping people in the same capacity that I used to, helping look over blood work. I'm a really good bridge between if you go and see a naturopath or a traditional Chinese medicine doctor um, and you just need that extra accountability at home. I have the background in uh, dietetics, yoga, reflexology. I've worked with lots of uh, Chinese medicine doctors, naturopaths, functional medicine doctors. So I understand it all and I can help you bridge it with your life at um, more of an affordable cost because as we know, sometimes it's really expensive to go see the practitioners or you're seeing them once a month and you need that in-between accountability because as much knowledge as, as we have, I'm finding a lot of my clients are actually health coaches themselves. They know the information, but they need that accountability, that support, that consistency, which is in the past, I had a, um, NHL hockey players. I worked with lots of people in Halifax, higher level um, athletes, as well as a lot of people in the corporate setting. I was hired to do full wellness takeovers with the HR department and we really worked with behavioral change. And after um, finding out what worked, I created a program and then offered it online. I pulled out of all the offices. I was working in uh, medical offices. I was working in yoga studios. I was working in massage clinics. I was working in lots of different places. And in, I think it was 2015, I pulled everything and moved it online because I was living in Halifax and I wanted to travel. I wanted to visit my family um, in BC. And I knew I would be living eventually off grid, raising a family and I couldn't be that practitioner that was always there for people. So coming back in um, onto the market, I wanted to launch at this at $25 a month because then 
the price point is is easy. You can cancel any any time, and I'm I'm front loading. I'm putting way more effort in at the beginning because I have the time right now and I have the energy for it. I haven't been doing it for four years. I'm not burnt out like I was back in the day, and um, I'm using it as a launch pad. So some of the best forms of marketing are word of mouth, Google reviews, um, testimonials, social media marketing. So with this initial crew of 25 people at $25 a month, I'm going to be able to um, use it as a, as a springboard. And uh, for me, you couldn't pay me enough to do something if it didn't feel right. So just as much as I am doing it for you guys, I'm doing it to see if it feels right, if it's in alignment. I've been working out of my um, scope of practice. I've been working in different industries just for the past four years. I guess it's kind of in um, similar spaces, but while I was raising my kid, I was doing things to just make money. It wasn't actually, um, didn't mean anything really to my heart. Um, there's a few exceptions. I did work a few things that lit me up, but that's the point is to get back into that space that um, my sole purpose that I have felt before. I lived it um, in the past and I'm excited to be living it again. So I will be coming on quite a bit. Follow my uh, business pages if you're sick of seeing my stuff on my personal pages. And um, yeah, I'm gonna figure out exactly where I'm going to niche down. But for now, I'm helping people in the areas, the two main areas that I worked in the past, which is wellness, and then helping uh, wellness entrepreneurs put their businesses online, automate their businesses, create systems, create leveraged income um, so that they can work smarter, not harder. And I'm gonna be doing my podcast episodes again if you wanna be interviewed. It's a really good way to start practicing that and start um, growing your own confidence with your voice and on um, social media. All right, that's that. Thanks for listening. And if you need anything, I'm here again.